my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 56 in this lecture we are going to look at a plot called histogram so we are going to plot a histogram with default kernel density estimate because using the seaborn library by default it gives you a histogram with kernel density estimate so the common so the function that is used to construct histogram is dist plot what is the meaning of this dist plot just see this one this is dist plot means distribution plot since that is from seaborn library therefore what i have to do i have i used sns just see we we already we we know what is sns isn't it import seaborn as sns therefore sns is alias for seaborn therefore sns dot displot data what does it mean input should be here data is data frame name this age is variable name this is a variable or column name in our data frame the that uh, file name is toyota.csv on which we are working from last few lecture for this histogram input should be any numerical variable or any continuous variable this age is it not numerical variable just we, we already we have seen this particular data frame from last few classes this age is basically numerical variable or i can say it is continuous variable therefore i can supply this age as input to the disp plot function what will it do it will construct because histograms can be plotted to check the frequency distribution of any continuous variable here age is continuous variable we can check the distribution of this age isn't it in this case age is one of the continuous variable from the data frame here we are interested in looking at the frequency distribution of age we will try to understand the frequency distribution of the age variable which is available in toyota.csv file how the values are distributed under the age variable that is our intention in that case you can use or you can access the age variable from the data frame data this is being the representative of the x axis isn't it age where can we represent we just we will see the output so that you can understand just just observe this output carefully what's happening this is this is age on x axis now we will try to analyze this as we know by default it gives you kde isn't it kernel uh, this kde we were what how will it be? we will try to understand it gives you a cur curve over the bars which is the representation of the distribution of the variable age just see this curve this curve indicates distribution of the variable age where is this age age is in toyota.csv file now you can understand the distribution of that age variable isn't it on the y axis you have kernel density estimate this is kde on y axis you have kde that is kernel density estimate on x axis you have age isn't it but if you are interested to get the frequency distribution in terms of the counts or number then we can also get rid of the kernel density estimate and how and if you want to get rid of this kde instead of kde if you want to keep count or frequency you can do it it's simple and straight forward how will you do it that's what we were saying by default your kde kde is true isn't it histogram without kernel density estimate isn't it now in previous case we were not set any kde value now what am i doing here we will try to understand let's see how to get that so what what does it mean so here we are going to plot the histogram by setting kde equal to false in previous case just we were not specifying this particular argument what does it mean by default kde equal to true now we are setting kde equal to false so here we are going to plot histogram by setting kde equal to false 
output just see output let me see output yes this output it's it, it similar to the previous output but on the y axis just representative of the frequencies of the counts just observe the y axis just compare this output with previous output on y axis in previous output you had kde values but now you have frequencies here here this is frequency or count but in the previous case in the previous case in the previous case it, it is represented by kd just go through previous slide and check on y axis you had kde values now it is not kde now you are frequent now you are keeping on y axis frequency or counts how, how can you do it just just simple that's what i'm saying i'm repeatedly saying same thing uh, uh, by keeping just by setting kde equal to false isn't it now let me continue this one and you have too many intervals here just see here you have too many intervals on x axis isn't it it is very difficult to interpret from this plot means you can interpretation of results is little bit complicated from this from this particular um, uh, histogram isn't it the range is about 75 to 80 just see this is maybe 75 to 80. this one is this is one bin isn't it these are the 75 to 80 where the car is more than six years 75 months these are the months zero months 10 months 20 months 30 months like this. the 75 to 80 means approximately six years isn't it there, there is a their count is very high just see this is very high this count is very high and the end there are very few cars which are new which are new in the sense 0 to 10 months age. Just see, 0 to 10 months age, this height is very less, isn't it? But there are more number of cars in Toyota.csv files in between 75 to 80, that is approximately about uh, 6 years. There are two extremes. Here, one is really high and one is uh, really low, isn't it? So, in that case, you can also have control on how many number of bins you want to have on the plot by having control on the bins you will be able to quickly interpret the distribution of the age variable means what does it mean i can specify number of bins how can i specify number of bins how can i specify number of bins we will try to understand just this is uh, uh, the same output i am showing in big screen nothing more than that let me proceed I, again let me repeat it here in this output on y axis i am representing counts or frequencies instead of kernel density estimate kde isn't it anyway let me proceed further now let me specify number of bins How, if i specify number of bins what is the advantage advantage is interpretation is easy let's see how to fix number of bins let me say bins equal to 5 just see this output let me show this one just a minute uh, what's happening here just bins equal 5 means what does it mean just see i am adding one more argument still kd equal to false kd equal to false means you will not you won't get that curve isn't it the bins equal 5 means first bin second bin third bin fourth bin fifth bin this particular output is little bit clear compared to previous output isn't it what does it mean you will have only five bins in your histogram isn't it from these bins it is very clear that frequency is really high for the bin values from 70 to 80 just see this one this is 70 to 80 this is very high means you have more number of cars whose age is from 70 months to 80 months that means that wherever the car's age is above 5 years, the frequency is high because most of the cars whose age is about 70 to 80 months, but you have very few cars which are very new in our data frame. That's why you have very low frequency in between 0 to 10 just see in between 0 to 10 you have very low frequency the height is very low means there are very few cars whose age is in between 0 to 10 we will try to understand these things in our jupiter notebook let me open our jupiter notebook just see this one first one what is this 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 i already discussed many times just i am cleaning 
I am setting this uh, two question marks and four question marks to NaN values and I am cleaning. Just I am cleaning the data frame again and again. I discussed many times this cleaning. 1436 rows and 10 columns by keeping data dot drop in a axis equal zero means rows. We are dropping the rows whose values are NaN. Therefore, this uh, number of 109 rows. Now you are going to work only with the 109 rows as uh, 340, approximately 340 rows are dropped. This I need not discuss. I discussed many times. Just let me say this is import Seaborn as SNS. My SNS is uh, uh, alias for Seaborn library. SNS displot. I already discussed what is displot. Here age. Age is a column name of our data frame Toyota.csv. Uh, uh, this must be a continuous variable or numerical variable. Means you are going to construct histogram for age variable. It must be on x axis. By default, it will give KDE value, kernel density estimate value on y-axis. If you want to get rid of this, you can specify KDE equal false. Just that, that's what it says. Earlier, by default, KDE equal true. Now, if I say KDE equal to, if you specify that uh, uh, kernel density estimate means you will get this curve. Just, just see this, this curve will give the distribution. But now I'm saying KDE equal to false. Just what, what's happening? The I'm get uh, just uh, even KD equal. Uh, what, what it says here, I am specifying counts in earlier case on y axis. You are keeping KDU values now. If I specify KD equal false on y axis, you will get counts on y axis, you will get frequencies. Even if you want, you can specify number of bins you are in histogram. Just here, I'm saying bins equal five, therefore, it is displaying uh, bins of uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's what, what is our interpretation from 0 to 10 there are very few cars whereas 70 to 80 there are more number of cars is in between 70 to 80 i will continue my discussion in next class uh, uh, let, just go through this lecture certainly you can understand if you have any difficulty just keep your comment so that uh, we will try to discuss thank you very much